Could speakers be designed with room canceling modes? Okay. This comes from Ray in Brooklyn, New York. Hi, Paul. Thanks for your educational YouTube videos. My pleasure, sir. I was watching a show on noise canceling headphones and wondered if this could be implemented in hi fi speakers. If unwanted room reflections could be singled out and eliminated, that would be heaven sent. Indeed it would. So let's talk a little bit about noise canceling devices. Mostly you see them in headphones and I'm going to explain to you why. But let me explain how those work. Some of you know, some of you don't. So <laughs> we're going to go with the ones that don't, right? All right. Uh, noise canceling headphones, Bose makes them now, the new Apple I, uh, AirPod Pros have them as well, combines headphones, which are little amplified speakers, little tiny things that go in your ears, and a microphone that listens to the outside noise. And through active cancellation, and I'll explain how that works in a second, the microphone picks up the external noise, does a reverse signal of that, and injects that into your headphones so that it cancels the outside noise without affecting the music or podcast or whatever it is you're listening to. So how does that work? Well, we've talked about this before, that you know, remember our talk about balanced cables? So in a balanced cable, you have an in-phase signal going on one of the two uh, signal conductors, the third one's the ground, uh, and while this one is going positive, negative, positive, negative, the other signal is out of phase and it's going negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. And when you put those two together, they cancel each other out. Okay? Now, why would we want to do that? Well, we'd want to do that because what we're looking for is anything in common is, is going to cancel out. I, Sorry, I said that wrong. The two signals aren't going to cancel each other out, but anything common to those same two wires will. So when we have in phase, which is one going up while the other, uh, uh, both of them going up, and then out of phase where the other is going down, you, you, have, you, you have opposites. You're measuring between those two opposites, and that's how you get your signal. But in the same way, if you have a positive going signal and a positive going signal on the same wire and you put those together out of phase in a, in a differential circuit, they cancel. Okay, So as one's going up, the other is, is doing the opposite and the net result is zero. So if you have a microphone that's picking up external noise and you flip the phase on that around and put that in to your ear, then it cancels the outside noise because of this out of phase cancellation that we're trying to, to, <laughs> to uh, poorly explain. Sorry about that. So his question, and, and that's uh, even the, the new um, uh, Apple products, the AirPods, are they called AirPods? I think they're called AirPods, AirPods Pro. They have a clever little microphone in there as well. And one of the things they did that's really cool is most people myself included, when we put earbuds in, I like to hear, I don't want noise cancellation generally. If I'm out on a walk, if I'm, if I'm uh, anything other than a noisy environment, I want to hear what's around me. So you can squeeze the thing and the microphone actually picks up the outside sounds and pumps them in, in phase, so you actually hear and it sounds like you don't even have headphones on. It's pretty cool. It's pretty smart what they did. And then you click it, it just flips it out of phase and it and all the noise goes away. So Ray is asking, could we do that with speakers? Because we know that there's room interactions, there are things that the room contributes to the sound that we don't want. And the quick answer is yes and no. <laughs> that's that for quick. Yes, in that 
there are a number of DSP, digital signal processing programs out. DIRAC is one. Uh, most home theater receivers have them where it performs a analysis of the room and then puts out of phase signals into your speakers so that at your listening position those kind of room cancel uh, those room nodes are canceled to some extent so that's already being done and, and in many systems especially home theaters and receivers there are programs that already do that so the answer is yes my hesitation when i say no is i've never heard it work well in a high-end audio system. I've heard it work well in the home theater system because there we're trying to achieve something very different. And I know I'll get a lot of flack for that because there's a whole group of people who want to run this DSP room correction through their high-end stereo. And in low frequencies now, I'll, I'll, I'll step back just a second, in the low frequencies, it can work very well. But as you start getting higher up into room reflections in the upper frequencies, I think it does more damage than it does good. So, works in the base. It works in the base. I don't like it at the top end. But it can be done, is being done, and that's the best I got. All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.